Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com, here to do a video showing how you can manually update your Nexus 7 to Android 5.0 Lollipop. This will be official and just like you're, you would get over the over the air update, this is going to manually install it, though so you do not have to wait for the over the air update. At the time of this video, there's only a download for the 2013 Wi-Fi only variant. So. Um, you need to make sure you download the correct zip file. If you do not have a 2013 Wi-Fi only Nexus 7, then this is not going to work. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, I have a 2013 Wi-Fi only Nexus 7, so I'm going to install it. Again, once those files become available, I will link to them in the description of the video. So be sure to check back and check my website as I will keep that updated, uh, up to date as soon as possible. Now you're going to need to do two things before we can do this. One, download the update zip file, the correct one for your device. Obviously, that's the first one. I'll link to it in the description. And you're also going to need to set up ADB on your computer. I have a tutorial video showing you how to. I will link to that in the description as well. So once you've done both of those things, we can go to our computer. All right, and once we're at our computer, navigate to that downloads folder where you downloaded that update zip. So you'll see it'll be a string of letters and numbers. It'll say Razor if it's the Nexus 7 2013 Wi-Fi only variant. Um, and you'll see a bunch of letters and numbers. So what I need you to do is select the entire um, file name, the entire thing. If it doesn't say .zip at the end, don't worry. We'll add that in later. But so select the entire file name and copy it to your clipboard. So right click, hit copy. Now what I need you to do is go ahead and cut the uh, file. So just hit cut and then navigate to where you uh, install that Android SDK. So double click on that folder, then go ahead and go into platform tools folder and paste that update zip into this folder. So it'll transfer on over. All right, and once that's done, our computer is ready to go. So that transferred over and got pasted in the platform tools. Now we need to go back to our uh, tablet, our Nexus 7, and we need to power it off because we need to get into recovery mode. All right, and once our Nexus 7 is completely powered off, to get into recovery mode, you need to press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. So keep it held down. This is actually going to take us into the bootloader where we can then get into the recovery mode. So you'll see, press and hold until it get, takes us to the bootloader. Use volume up and down to navigate through the menu. And then once it says recovery mode, press the power button to select it. Um, your uh, bootloader does not need to be locked. It can be unlocked. Um, and this is a, an official update zip, so you need to be on stock and you need to have stock recovery. So if you're running a custom ROM, um, this is not going to work, so keep that in mind. I'm going to hit recovery mode and it's going to reboot us into recovery. Alright, so there's no command screen is going to come up. Um, every device is a little bit different how to get past it, so you have to play with volume up and down and power. Um, I'm going to try different some button combinations and see what actually works for me. Okay, so press the power button and then press the volume up button after you press the power button. That's what worked for me. So play around with it and then you can get to this screen where it says Android System Recovery. Now what I need you to do is press volume down once until it highlights apply update from ADB and press the power button. And now down at the bottom of the screen you'll see now send the package you want to apply. So our device is ready. Since it's ready we can actually grab our micro USB cable and plug our Nexus 7 into our computer. And once we've done that we can actually go back to our computer all right, and once we're back to our computer, what you need to do is go into that platform tools folder, hold shift, right click, and press open command window here. And we're going to open up this command prompt. So here it is. This is what it looks like. Now we need to type in one command. Uh, you need to type in ADB space side, side load space, and then at the top of the command prompt, right click and hit edit, and then hit paste. You're going to go ahead and paste that file name. Mine didn't actually stay in the clipboard, so I'm going to go back once again, highlight the entire file name, copy, copy it to my clipboard, then go ahead and go back to this command prompt. Do the same thing, right click on the top, highlight, edit, hit paste, and there we go. So now the file name is going to get pasted into that, uh, into that command prompt. Again, make sure you do have dot zip at the end of it. So you want to make sure it says dot zip, not dot zip, dot zip, just one dot zip and we're good to go. So uh, after I press this, what's going to happen is the command prompt, I'm going to press enter. You'll see the command prompt has a bunch of strings down at the bottom, a little blurry, but you can actually see a percentage. So that'll let you know how much done this is. It's actually just sending the file to your device. And once it sends it, it's actually going to start the update. So I'm going to wait till this is just about done sending. And then we're going to go to our device and watch it update. All right, so it's at 100% now. You'll see on our device now it's going to be it's going to switch to installing system update. 
and you'll see a progress bar right there. It's gonna take a bit of time. It's a, a complete operating system upgrade. So you're gonna have to be patient with this install. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch this. So I'm gonna let it run through and I'll be back once it's almost done. All right, so as you can see, install from ADB complete. We are uh, now good to go. So it's pretty much done. All we need to do now is navigate to, you'll see it says recovery up here. Um, it's a highlighting reboot system now. So just press the power button to select reboot system now. And that's it. So let our uh, Nexus 7 reboot. Uh, this boot's gonna take up, this boot up's gonna take longer than usual just because a new OS got installed. Uh, you don't need your phone plugged in anymore, by the way, so don't worry about that. So yeah, just uh, let this boot up and I'll be back showing you guys we are now an Android 5.0 Lollipop. All right, so my device booted back up. It is now on Android 5.0 Lollipop. Something new that just showed up actually, it says you can copy your app icons from your old home screen or you can start fresh. I haven't seen this one yet. I'm gonna start fresh. You'll see, um, got it. Looks like it actually copied all the apps and icons and such. So I don't know exactly what that did, but here you go. We are now on Android 5.0 Lollipop. I'm gonna go ahead and run into settings and you'll see a better settings menu, at least tablet style. Uh, scroll down, go to about tablet, and here we go. You'll see Android version 5.0 Lollipop on the Nexus 7. I will be doing a full Android 5.0 Lollipop review either today or tomorrow, so be sure to subscribe so you're notified of that, all that good stuff. So there you have it. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you can also subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.